what's up my beautiful people it's your girl jamika and i'm back with another youtube video thank you so much for tuning in and watching with me now before we get into it please make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button give it a big like if you enjoyed it and liked it that will let me know that you want more content like it also hit that notification bell button down below as well so you'll stay up to date on all my new videos that i upload and post and you won't miss a single thing and spread this video on all your social media platforms so we can get the word out there and help grow the channel and also if you're looking for something to feed yourself make sure you hit up jw.org now let's get right into the video let's go okay you guys so before we get into this video first of all let me say welcome to this new month this beautiful new month it is officially november 1st 2020 you guys so welcome that is new chances new opportunities and new blessings okay but anyways you guys in this video we're gonna be talking about a triangle relationship that was full of back and forth drama in the year 2020 that is about to be over in just a few short months we have the love triangle triangle but between the rapper the baby r&b singer danny lay and the baby's baby mama mimi now in the summer 2019 going into the early 2020 year the baby was featured on megan the stallion song called cash stuff which blew up okay and shortly after the baby scored his very first number one hit on the billboard hot 100 charts with the song called rockstar featuring roddy rich in april 2020 and ever since then his career is non-stop and has skyrocketed over the past five and a half years, the baby has been in a very up and down, back and forth, off and on type of situationship with the mother of his child, Mimi, which that would make his first child his daughter. And also that would make her second child because she does have a son from a previous relationship. Mimi did admit that they were not in a committed relationship and that it wasn't up until she was pregnant that he tried to actually commit to her and be in an actual full on relationship with her. Me and the baby met about five years ago. It was kind of through like mutual friends. I already knew who he was, he knew who I was. So about five years ago, I would say. Uh, we became official together when I got pregnant. <laughs> Our relationship back then was real cool. It was real chill. It wasn't no pressure on nothing. We was just going along with the flow, enjoying each other's presence, basically. He is actually an amazing father. You know, not only to our daughter, but to my son as well. He done been in his life for a very long time. So he's an amazing father. I can get him that. Okay, so now that we cleared up that information, we also need to clear up that Mimi actually said herself that as the baby grew and got more famous and popular in the industry, as well as with the public eye, that nobody knew that they were together because they chose to keep their private life private. He started rapping about three years ago, I want to say, and it became clear that he was going to blow up when I heard his first song. And I was just like, oh, you about to be famous. We ain't had nobody in our business. Like a lot of people didn't even know we was dating. Okay, so now that we've cleared that up, let's clear up the fact that she also said that around that time, and this is November 2019, she was saying that the status of their relationship was that they were both single, but that she still considered him her boo. Basically, I still got feelings for this man. We have a child together and we probably most likely, you know, do our thing together. We still have our friends with benefits type of relationship. But overall, the man is single and he can do whatever he wants to do. The status of our relationship. Hmm. We single, but that's my boo though. So we single, but that's my boo. Okay, so we're going to assume that around this time that he started talking and, you know, messing around with Danny Lay because when he did address the whole situation between him, Danny Lay, and his baby mama, he said around the time, you know, that he started talking to Danny Lay that he was single. So I'm guessing he started talking to her around this time, which would have been November 2019. And honestly, it could have been sooner than that. But I'm just going to go with November 2019 when she said that they were single. So for all of those months from November 2019 all the way up until recently, 
to August 2020, we heard nothing about the baby and his baby mama and the status of their relationship. So we're thinking, of course, like she said, they're single and they're co-parenting. However, we started to see um, subliminal tweets and Instagram posts from Danny Lay supposedly having a new boo that she's head over heels from. However, she was not dropping any names. But people started to notice that she would be posting videos on her Instagram and Twitter of her dancing or exercising or singing along to the baby's songs very often and frequently. So they started to put two and two together and be like, hey, is that your boo or do you just really like his music? Like what's going on? And at first she didn't come out and say anything about it. She just kept throwing subliminals pretty much giving hints but not really overall confirming but however in april 2020 she did release her video for her single levi high and it was featuring the baby and they were both in the video and the chemistry looked very organic and real and they looked real comfortable together so that really raised people's suspicions even more and shortly after about two months later around june 2020 she threw the biggest subliminal she could throw to let people know that they were together or messing around or whatever the situation was by posting a picture of them apparently cuddled up booed up together in bed and fans put two and two together by seeing the tattoos on his arm and being like oh that's the baby so when fans put two and two together that Danny Lay and the baby were messing around or together or whatever the situation was, they immediately started comparing the two. They started comparing the baby mama to Danny Lay and Danny Lay to the baby mama Mimi. It was just a crazy mess and social media was just going nuts going crazy when this happened and basically they were just asking questions but nobody was really saying anything but there was really no need to actually say anything because it was confirmed about a month later in july 2020 when the pair were hanging out together arm in arm and they were caught by paparazzi and pictures flew everywhere on social media and basically that picture just confirmed that yeah they were some type of item now it's not made clear as to when they started their friendship however i want to assume that it is at least over a year because they were pictured at the 2019 bet awards they didn't arrive together however they did take pictures together now even though the picture with danny lay laying in bed with the baby posting it on her social media accounts as well as being physically caught by paparazzi being arm in arm with the baby obviously being booed up being some type of item or pair caused a lot of chatter and speculation however when she was asked repeatedly in interviews are they together or anything like that she didn't deny the fact either she actually kind of gave responses that seemed like mm, they could be together any I interesting any, any interesting features Anybody oh, yeah. oh yeah i haven't really said who are my features yet because i don't know if i want to put it out there That's <laughs> I, can, I can guess one child which one mm, you know who it is who you know, you know who everybody's saying it is oh okay <laughs> the, ba the baby yeah i mean levi high is on the album so mm -hmm. you know, he's on my album you know said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what they saying you know, about you and him child Y'all make a cute couple though, but we can keep them moving. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in January 2020, okay, I guess, you know, the baby and them, they co-parent, but it looks like they were doing more than co-parenting, of course, just like most baby mom and baby daddies do. And basically, Mimi posted these pictures, these two pictures on her Instagram stories. And, um, you know, of course, the Shade Room got wind of it and posted it on their Shade Room Instagram page. And the caption said, TSR Baywatch slash the baby and his boo slash the mother of his child looking unbothered in their color coordinated outfits. So basically, after Danny Lay and the baby were pretty much going public with their relationship, not caring that people knew, I feel like the baby mama Mimi was starting to feel some type of way. And that's when she tried to quote unquote expose Danny Lay and basically show some uh, old text messages from earlier this year in January 2020 for some screenshots that she took from the baby's phone, which was apparently a conversation that he had with Danny Lay. And Danny Lay was pretty much hitting him up saying that she was hurt and disappointed by the fact that she had to find out through social media that he was still dealing with his baby mama as more than just a co-parenting relationship type of deal 
And um, basically, she, Mimi was trying to get the public to say, hey, Danny Lay is messed up or messing with him, knowing that he was not done having any type of dealings with me. So let me read y'all these text messages here. So first of all, it appears to be that the baby had Danny Lay under his phone as Hollywood instead of her name. That's red flag number one. And then it says here that she basically sent him a picture of, you know, what was on um, the shave room and she sent it to him. And then she said, I look like an idiot. Congrats, man. What the F? And then he said, laugh out loud. That internet hold big weight, don't it? Basically, kind of like mocking her like, okay, so you're pretty much going off of what the internet says. Okay. Like basically not making a big deal out of it. And then she said, shaking my head. And he said, okay, I'm accept your congrats. And then she said, you think I'm a weak AB, huh? F man. And then he said, you got it. First of all, whether he's serious or not, he's basically not taking your feelings seriously or into serious consideration by the way he's talking to you and responding. That's all the red flag you need to not even mess with this man at all. And then a few days later, she sent another screenshot of basically something uh, Mimi had posted on her social media, on her Twitter. And she said, ready to get my hands on my baby, talking about the baby, like her baby daddy. And then that's when Danny Lay screenshot it and sent it to him. And he didn't say anything. So she sent him a message saying, you want me to fall back and see? And this is what I see? Heartbroken emojis. She said, I hope y'all can just work it out. This stuff hurts when I was really for you. And then Mimi went to her Instagram story and said this, and it was going towards Danny Lay saying, don't play victim now, stand on you being obsessed with me like a weirdo. I keep receipts for times like this when people try to get out of pocket. And then Danny was saying, go get a job, and you're so on me with the crying and laughing emoji, like, like she was accusing Mimi of being so obsessed with her. Then fans were tagging both Mimi and Danny Lay, saying, handle your business. This little girl has been out of pocket for too long. And Danny Lay had replied saying, get out of here, ain't nobody worried about y'all, dead A, meaning seriously, like for real though. And then somebody else said, but why are you mad at her? And then Danny Lay replied and responded saying, because she bored. Basically saying that uh, the baby's baby mama Mimi is so mad and pressed over Danny Lay because she's bored and has nothing to do. Then Mimi responded to all the comments saying, laugh out loud. Y'all do realize he's the father of my child. We in this stuff for life, G. Even when the next come, y'all gotta stop fueling off of anger and be more positive with love. It creates a pure soul, peace, and happiness. So basically Mimi was saying no matter who he does or does not date and for how long he does and does not date them or deal with them, she's gonna be around in the picture in some type of way forever because they share a child together. Baby, we living our best life. Do you hear me? We living our best life. <laughs> you hear me? For real, for real. Cause baby, mama been that. Mama gonna always be that. And I'm good. <laughs> but what I won't take is a two done got a couple times. They can make it disrespect me, 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 me. No, 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 no. I don't how much you can. You better know who you're playing with. Now, after all this back and forth, it's safe to say that you know the baby and his baby mama they are rekindling things and the internet has been silent since then okay so uh, danny lay actually went to her hometown which is the dominican republic because she is dominican you know dominican mommy and before she landed there she made it clear to her fans and to the public that pretty much she was getting away from all the drama and this was like a quote-unquote reset trip for her while on her way to the dominican republic she posted this on her instagram story she said before i land i want to tell myself that this is a reset trip what's not for me god will not allow what i give love to should equally give love back i'm giving all my love to myself god and to my family i finished everything i needed to do my album cover is done my movies completed and my press looks crazy i worked so hard even in the process of being hurt 
I'm clearing my mind, cleansing my soul, and finding closure for myself. I'm coming back home a new person, new home, new car, and new mind. I'm excited to see what God has in store for me, but I'm also patient about it. The blessings I receive are all reminders to keep going and that God already has my life written out. Thank you for all the positive love, but also thank you for the hate as well. It's helped me to realize a lot and to get stronger. Love, Danny Lay. Now, Danny Lay has been in the Dominican Republic for almost two months now. And about three weeks ago, while Danny Lay was still in, in the Dominican Republic, uh, the baby posted this on his Instagram story. And basically, it's him and his baby mama Mimi, you know, having a romantic dinner for their anniversary and kissing. And basically, by the look on the baby mama's face, you know, she was like, yeah, this is my get back and this is to publicly announce that we do deal with each other. So what now? Like, I won. Like, this is where he wants to be type of look. Or worse, drop the charges against my client and this all goes away. Hmm. Hey, you know, that's, uh, that's funny because your client doesn't want me to drop the charges. She wants to take a plea. How do you know that? Guards over her making a phone call last night. And, uh, I know why. Why is it tell because of you? Is it just because he took the retention? You in the way? Restaurant closed the hour ago. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> closed the hour ago. Be watching power. They left us alone. Okay, y'all, so let me know your honest, genuine comments, thoughts, and opinions down below in the comment section. Me personally, honestly, my personal opinion is this. Even though they're celebrities, this is nothing new, y'all. Stuff like this, unfortunately, does happen every day with regular people in the regular, normal, real world, okay? That's just facts. Um, it's just the classic case of a man being in the middle trying to get his cake and eat it too with both women that he's interested in he has history and a child you know with this woman so it's hard to let her go um for different reasons and feelings however you know he's not completely where he wants to be either or else he wouldn't be stepping out on you at all period and that's just facts um, so therefore he was, you know, stepped out and was dibbling and dabbling, you know, with somebody else he was really interested in and most likely told her that they were only co-parenting together. And even if the girl probably knew that they were doing more because you were interested in him or you like or, or you like him or you love him, you stick around hoping that he's going to quote unquote choose you and pick you in the end. However, because he does have longer history and a child with the baby mama, he did quote unquote choose her over her. Danny Lay however it doesn't mean that he's totally happy within his relationship because if that was the case he wouldn't have felt an internal need to step out on her period and maybe he is a little happy in his relationship it doesn't mean that he's miserable it could be like I said that he's at a point in his life where he's just not ready to totally commit and settle down yet that could be the possibility but whatever the case he's not totally where he wants to be as far as being 100% committed to his baby mama either and the thing is even if the baby mama is not even in love like she used to be with him she's still gonna stay because he is the breadwinner of the household and the provider and he provides a lifestyle that she's now accustomed to and doesn't want to lose so she's gonna stay despite whatever history they have or the child that they have also she doesn't want to lose her breadwinner and that's just facts so Danny Lay should just keep it pushing and be patient for God to bring her a man that will be a hundred percent hers that she can be happy with and that she doesn't have to go through this sadness pain hurt or drama with anyways thank you guys for watching this video with me i love and adore you guys so much i'm so grateful and thankful to have all of you and before you guys go please go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below and hit that notification bell button as well as the all option to make sure that you don't miss a single video that i upload and post and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you actually liked it and enjoyed it and that will let me know that you want more videos and content like it also share this video across all your social media platforms to get the word out there and to help grow the channel i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and until next time take care of yourself and each other